Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Mechanized Bestiary. Last episode, I have given some advice that might or might not work well, and talked about some templates you could use to enhance or change your NPC dramatically. Let's actually talk about the NPC you will use to torment your players. There are 30 NPC types in total, categorized into 5 different classes. Artillery, Long Range Attacker, Controller, Battlefield Manipulator, Defender, exactly what it said, Striker, Close Range Attacker, and Support, which, do the support. Just to remind you, none of the options are, generally speaking, weaker or stronger than one another, all NPC are equally viable and you can just pick whatever you like for your players to fight against. Let's discuss each of them in alphabetical order. First up, Ace. Ace is essentially what happens if you give a jet fighter a pair of legs. Capable of flight, Ace can easily fly over terrains or traps, and launch loads of missile at you that don't care about pesky little things like cover. Sure, they won't have any cover either when flying, but they barely need it at all. Solutions Tech attack, or other alternative methods of damage that don't deal with evasion, like reliable. It would also be nice to find a way that can keep them on the ground so you can kick their face in, like grapple. To game master, ace is a constant annoying presence you can place on the board. While they might not do a lot of damage, their hard to hit nature and consistent weapon damage will put the pressure on your player. In a way, ace is also a good way to teach your player on importance of tech attack and alternative methods of damage, especially players that are a bit too focused on what's in their weapon mounts only. Next, Aegis. Aegis is a guardian that can project an energy bubble to protect its allies, a bubble that's extremely good against any forms of attacks, while everything shooting from the inside is unaffected. Even if you got through, you might find your attack to be weaker, and if you only have the very basic invade, forget it, because it's now nearly useless. However, the key word here is attack. So, to deal with Aegis effectively, get up close and murder it, fast, or use every other methods of damage or forcing saves. Oh no! That's easier said than done however because Aegis is surprisingly tough, and Aegis can deal burn damage too, so you want to kill it fast anyway. To Game Master, Aegis could be used to provide excellent cover and support on just about everywhere, and not too shabby in direct attack either. However, as soon as they go down, everything they provide is gone. In a way, Aegis could be a linchpin of your NPC composition, keep that in mind for any combat plan you make, it might make a nice reward for your players when they figured out the puzzle. Third in the list, Archer. Archer, is the guy with a big gun. They are scary, and they are going to shoot at you, or just your general direction, either way, you are going to be punished, by the big stick. Archer is probably one of the first unit faced by most players that makes them go wow, this guy needs to die right now because they are pretty effective for how simple they are. Remember Heavy Gunner, Archer is entirely built around this. Any players in fast and unarmored mechs is going to feel a lot of pain when their speed were cut out and reliable damage just cut them either way. There's three ways to deal with Archer, long range attack to go around its range, just plain out shoot it because it's not exactly well protected, or grapple it, because grapple stop any reaction completely. Oh no! To Game Master, Archer is an effective way of giving other NPC protection against fast player mechs, forcing them to either take damage or remain immobile. Against a player rather stacked in armor however, the archer's rapid attack might as well feels like a nerf gun. Fourth, Assassin. Assassin, wants to kill a specific someone really badly. After the assassin chooses its target, there's not much the target can do. And if you think keeping distance away from the assassin would work, you are going to be wrong. Assassin cannot fly, but it might as well be since it can just jump over anything. And if you show any weakness, you are going to get stabbed repeatedly, and violently. Solution, find out who the target is, and have everyone else deal with the assassin. Maybe stop or slow the assassin in place, preferably by tech attack, or grapple. To Game Master, the assassin is a one-trick pony, it basically just do really well against a single specific target, weakened opponent, and nothing else. And since it only has a knife, unless you look into some optional systems, it's gonna be useless if it can't reach anyone. But, 
it won't hurt to pair it with other NPC that can inflict nasty statuses and conditions on its target to make it better at its job, and since it can be really small, it can hide behind anything and could even be used in rather cramped space that mech normally couldn't enter. And finally, Assault. Assault is the very basic, and very standard shooty mech boy you see in just about every single mecha shows ever. Does it mean they are weak? No, they are dangerous as all hell. Assault aren't good at anything, but they also have no real weakness either. They are just good at shooting people, taking cover, and using this mysterious thing called teamwork. There's really no true solution to assault thanks to this, but the best way to deal with an assault is long range attack or close grapple fight, and if the assault like to stick together, you might as well make them die together with multi-targeting weapons or a big bloody sword. To Game Master, an assault is an easy to use striker that can be placed in just about any situation. And since they are rather simple, you could sorta use assault to learn the flow of a combat. But, I would also advise you to use other striker class NPC when you can, assault is good and easy to use, but there's just so many choices out there that it's kinda a waste to not go crazy with them. Anyway, I guess this is a good place as any to stop the episode here, and I will see you all next time.